No one talks about how expensive it is to live alone. I live in a big city. You all know where I live. I don't know why I'm hiding it. I live in Calgary. And rent right now for a one bedroom is insane. I'm not even like in a nice building. We like our units. We hate the building. I say we as Elena and I because she lives in the same building as me. And we want to move out. But the rent elsewhere is insane. Why can't I just be booed up so I'm splitting rent with someone? Like most of these places are like $1,600 a month. And I have two jobs and I can afford that, but I still don't want to pay that. This is ridiculous. I bought all this furniture by myself. I pay for my internet myself. I pay like it's, I pay for my groceries myself. I hate it here. I hate it here. Well, welcome to supply and demand, right? That's how it works, right? If you, if she, she lives in a big city where there, there's a lot of people that that want that are interested in living there, right? Now, obviously, they, you know, there's there's more to do. There's a lot of people there. Uh, jobs typically pay more in in the city, but what comes along with it is high cost, right? The cost of living is usually more expensive than any other place, right? So. When it comes to supply and demand, the fact that everybody wants to live there, everybody demand that want, is interested in living there because of all the things that, that comes with living in the city, then you're going to have to expect to pay for it. It's going to cost you, right? The cost of living alone is going up. And you see that she talks about, man, why can't she be booed up? Well, that's a good question because that's that's where life is going right now, right? You, It's hard to survive in this economy just by yourself, living alone. You're going to either have to live with some friends, get a roommate, um, live with some family members or you're going to have a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse to help, you know, reduce the cost because everything just costs too much. Living alone just costs way too much. So trying to do it by yourself, especially in the city where she's at, is going to cost you. So, um, yeah, this idea where everybody wants to be able to have that independency um, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that peace, well, all of that is going to cost you. So that's something you want to be prepared for. All right. So, all right. So we got another video and she's going to explain. Uh, she's going to talk about her cost um to, to to live so uh let's let's see what she has to say right here tell me why it's getting literally so ridiculous to live alone like my rent right now is thirty four hundred dollars that does not include utilities it does include my parking um but i pay an extra two hundred dollars in utilities every month so and then another what is it eighty five dollars for wi-fi so almost Thirty-seven hundred dollars for a one-bedroom apartment. Wow. Okay, you're paying thirty-four hundred dollars for a one-bedroom apartment. Like, like I don't know where she, I have no idea where she lives. I I searched the comment to see where she lives. I, I couldn't find it. But thirty-four hundred dollars for a one-bedroom apartment. She could literally get a mortgage, right? She get up. She could buy a home and get two, three bedrooms, depending on where she lives. And she would she would spend less than what she's spending now. She would have more space. So it makes no sense that she's paying that much. And like I said, she she probably lives in a, a big, I mean, out of a big city. That's more than likely for maybe California, New York, who knows. Uh, but to pay thirty four hundred dollars when you could get two three bedrooms um, and you could buy, literally buy a home, that you're you you you're just wasting money, right? And obviously the cost. I'm not sure what she does for work, but she must make a lot of money to have him spend that much money. So she's gonna go. I think she's gonna go over a little bit more of her cost. But yeah, thirty four hundred dollars. You know, basically thirty seven hundred dollars for that bedroom apartment. It just it, to me it just makes no sense when she could literally just get a home um, and you know get two three bedroom for for that same amount. And I was looking because they're gonna raise my rent this month or this next month another two hundred dollars a month. So almost thirty nine hundred dollars just to live alone in the same place that I've been living. No updates, no nothing. So I've been looking around at other places and to live alone, it's costing even more than that. I'm like, how is it going to cost me four thousand dollars to rent a one bedroom apartment? That is absolutely insane. I. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I don't know what she does for work, but she must make a lot of money for for her to. Um, have a have a mortgage. I mean, have a have a rent be up to upwards of four thousand dollars just for housing alone, right? That's a lot of money. I mean, that's a lot of money for for someone to be spend spending on just a one bedroom apartment. That's just way too much money. So, like I said, like she if she could just buy a home, right, for that same mortgage, same amount, uh, get like a two three bedroom. What she could do is she could get roommates, right, and they could split the cost. That would make it that would make that would make it a lot more affordable for her. 
And, you know, obviously, like, lessen the burden of her having to spend so much money on housing alone. So, I mean, you got you to start making, like, economic decisions when it comes to that point. Because, like I said, they're going to increase her rent, you know, like everybody else is, like everybody else is um, um, seeing is that they're getting their rent increased. She's going to have to do that. They're going to increase her rent again. So, she's going to spend even more. So, that's something she got to think about, right? Because that's just spending way too much money, right? So, we got one more uh, video, um, and uh, it's, gonna, it's a pretty short one. Why did no one tell me that living alone is so f***ing expensive? Okay, I just got a studio apartment. You know there's like five types of soap you have to buy? Like hand soap, dish soap, laundry soap. Like girl, girl, and like, and like obviously I knew about all these things, duh. But it's like the actual paying for them? Now that's crazy. Like that is crazy. I have to raid my parents' house like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Like I need to do that. I just like steal all of it. There's not much to be said about that. Right, like you said, she's gonna go. She might as well go to her parents and, and take what you can get from there. That's that's a good thing about having parents, right? <laughs> you can go get things from them and uh, and not think much of it, right? You go you can go get the things you need and tell your parents that you need X Y Z, and they're gonna ob obviously make sure that you have those things because uh, they want to make sure you're taken care of. So that's at least good that she has somewhere to go. But this is what this is what life is 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 in uh in today's economy, right? You gotta doing buying things, getting things on your own, living alone is very expensive. That you just can't do it by yourself and, and i know a lot of people want to do that because they want that independency uh they want that peace and yes all these things are very nice but uh like i said it's going to cost right it's going to cost you for that 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 independent lifestyle and, and having that peace and having being in, uh, by yourself in, in, that, in that an apartment it's going to cost you and it's hard it's hard nowadays for, for a lot of people doing to do it because obviously you hear you mean obviously rents being increased by so much uh the fact that you know even if you buy a home uh it, just to maintain that home is, is costing so much so trying to do this all by yourself is just very expensive and unless you make really good money at your job and, or and you're also managing your money properly um it's going to be very difficult just to live by your, by yourself so and you see a lot of people struggling with that idea that you know how come no one told me this like i mean look you knew how much it was going to cost you right if you if people budgeted themselves properly like okay you you said all right i make x amount of money yo this is what i can and this is what i can afford in terms of housing then it, it wouldn't shock people too much but um it, it, it is it is it is tough especially even if you have like a mortgage where taxes and insurance are going up right you expect your mortgage to be the same but then now taxes and insurance are increasing um you know exponentially and also rents are increasing the way they are so it does make it difficult especially in today's environment to to just you know get the basic needs when it comes to your housing so but you it, it, you have to adapt to these these, these times right because everybody's dealing with this and you have to adapt so you have to figure out ways and, and living alone is definitely a luxury now and you got it, it as much as it sucks to get roommates and stuff like that, it's something you need to do in order to, to, to survive this economy. So those are my thoughts. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and share. Uh, and if you haven't done so, already, make sure to subscribe. All right, so you guys take care. Have a good one. Later.